Hello, welcome to Celebi Tarot. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you are in a very powerful energy of love. Okay. I hope you're in the energy of love. Let's see exactly what this person's thinking about. This person that you're connecting with, this person that stays on your mind, this person that you are wondering what they're thinking and feeling, but unable to pinpoint it. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of my information is below. Where we could look in depth and we could look deeper into exactly how your person specifically is feeling, thinking about you. All right. But for now, this is a general reading. Of course, like, subscribe if this resonates for you. Okay. What are the vibes? We have conversation. <laughs> I want to hear your voice. I'm, I actually want to speak to you. All right. So this is someone here that wants to communicate. This is someone here that wants to connect with you. And the energy that I'm getting here is there. There's a strong, very, there's a strong energy of uncertainty in terms of what should I say? How should I say it? How should I approach you? Uh, what will we talk about when we do speak? Okay. Someone here is a little nervous. I'm getting a nervous vibe from this person. Um, there is a lot of love coming from this person's energy, but at the same time, they're a bit clueless in terms of how to solve a situation that may be around them at this time or around this connection to some degree. All right, there is some sort of guilt that may be in this person's energy for a number of reasons, but I see this person wanting to hear your voice. So if they could hear your voice through um, voice notes that you've sent, or if they could hear your voice through videos, all right? Or however, hearing your voice is very soothing. Hearing your energy or connecting with you is just very soothing to them. So that's what I'm getting. We also have, I wasn't happy with the way things were going. So this is someone here that I feel like understands that you weren't very happy with the way things were going. There could have been some sort of arguments. There could have been a lack of commitment or a lack of trying or a lack of um, proper communication at some point. But I do see this person saying, will we ever be able to work? Will we ever be able to see things the same ever again? So there's a strong energy towards the ending of things where things started to shift. Things were starting to change at some point. Okay, what do we have here? And we have new chapter. I'm trying to move on. Trying. Okay, so we do have someone here trying to move on, trying to separate themselves from you here. Um, and it seems like it may be something that they're struggling with. Okay, they're struggling with this energy. And again, I'm not sure if this is going to be the best for us. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to connect with you and possibly forgive. Someone here needs to forgive someone for some sort of action that took place. We do have guilty. Okay, I feel extremely guilty for the way things turned out between us. I feel guilty for the way that I um, dismissed this connection at some point. We also have a soul tie, which I, you know, felt from the beginning, honestly, once I just jumped into this reading, honestly, there's someone here that's feeling as if I'm constantly connected to you. I'm constantly thinking about you. You're constantly in my vibration on my mind. Um, our last encounter was just something that was extremely different for me, extremely in intense for me. And I feel like for some of you, you haven't seen this person in a long time. Okay, there's been some space uh, created between you and a lot of you are feeling as if like, is this ever going to go into this beautiful place where it used to be, where we used to um, talk about things, where we used to solve situations, where we were a team? Are we ever able to do that again? We do have, again... I'm always connected to you. And for some of you that may be watching, it's like this person's constantly on your mind, constantly in your energy. And I don't feel me. I don't feel like a lot of you are crazy or losing it or delusional. I really feel like this is someone here that's also thinking about you as well, but not sure how to adjust or fix or communicate or, um, you know, work through some of their fears, all right, some of their their battles that they may be going through right now. So there is this resistant suppression, um, you know, the secrecy energy that's going on that uh, may be pulling the two of you apart here, okay? So we have soul tie, all right? Um, and it's very powerful. This is a very powerful connection. 
that I'm feeling that you two have. The chemistry here, this person's saying, I've never felt something so intense before. I've just never felt something like this, hands down, right? And it's so hard to fight something that's this powerful. Like, how do you do that? How? It's, it's, I don't care how tough you are. I don't care how masculine, how feminine you are. When there's a connection that just makes sense, it makes sense. Now, the compatibility may not make sense, but the connection makes sense. So I feel like this connection is also teaching a lot about yourself. Okay. It's teaching you to go where love, love works, right. And not to try to run. Someone here could be a runner. They could try. It's, it's like this person's trying to replace you or trying to start something new with other people or start, you know, trying to start this new chapter as this person clearly stated, I'm trying to have a new new beginning that's what they're trying to do right new chapters they're trying to forget about things but if it was only that easy life would be simple right tell me more about this connection tell me more about this connection i'm letting you go now so we both can move on so this is someone here that I feel like they're trying so hard to move on rebound look at that i just need someone to help me get over you or i need i need some help to forget you i need some help to try to get you out of my mind i feel like there was some sort of breakup at some point here between the two of you and i feel like someone here could have jumped into something new something different but whatever they jumped into may or may not be working for them. I do see someone here online dating or they met somebody online and this is someone here that they're connecting with. Some of you, you know, are <laughs> considering online dating. Uh, tell me how my, yeah, true love. Like spirit is just like, tell them, still love you, right? True love, we're not gonna take this. We're not gonna take all this. So we have true love here coming out very clearly. All right, we have true love. We have, I have a few love interests online, nothing serious, just casual flirting. So this is someone here that's trying to, again, I'm trying to get my mind off of things. I'm trying to connect with other people. I'm trying to start different chapters, but I still feel like we have a lot of unfinished business. We have somebody that seems like they're very unfazed. It seems as if they're not bothered. It seems as if they don't, you know, don't miss you. And again, that's coming from, not texting, not communicating, not reaching out to you. And a lot of you may feel like this person doesn't care. False, right? Give me more about how this person feels. I'm unfazed by our separation. Yeah. Look at this. Came out very clearly. All right, spirit guides are on it tonight. This afternoon, this morning, whenever you may be watching. It says, I didn't realize how empty my life was until we separated. I miss you. There's something that you brought into this person's life that was so different, so fulfill fulfilling, so beautiful, so filled with love and harmony and compassion and admiration. You admired this person. The love that you two have and also had was something that was so powerful, it really transitioned this person, but it also brought in a lot of fear for the both of you, okay? For the both of you. Let's get some more, please. How are my viewers feeling about this connection, this vibe? How are you feeling? They don't want that. What are you feeling? Control. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid it controlling me. So a lot of you may be in the space of, I don't want to overthink about this. I'm sitting on my hands. I'm missing this person so much, Silavi. I, I miss them as much as they, they miss me. We're missing one another. It says, I've never missed anyone in my life so much as much as I miss you. Okay, I'm missing you. But at the same time, I feel like, take it how it resonates, someone here is trying to control what they're saying, what they're doing, okay? They don't want to come off as someone that's not faithful, maybe to someone else or someone that's not honest or someone that's not true to their word. 
solitude we have i'm taking a break and i'm spending some time alone so this is someone here that needs some time to think look at you look at this person here this person misses you take it how it resonates for some of you you may feel like oh this person doesn't miss me but whoever i'm reading for right now that person misses you and i feel like you feel it constantly you have dreams of them randomly they're popping up in your spirit <laughs> randomly they're popping up in your vibe energies never lie it just doesn't it just doesn't lie can we get a little bit more please this person could be a smoker or this person has an a, a strong oral fixation take that how that resonates let's get more please we have separation all right so a lot of you could be in this energy of separation with this person there could be distance obviously right and we have trust it's important for you to trust that this is a connection that's going to come back into a very beautiful place trust that trust that it's going to happen trust that the situation happened for a reason let's get more I feel like a lot of you are going to have a, a very strong heart to heart with this person. There's going to be a meetup. There's going to be a conversation where spirit is going to bring you and this person together. And it's going to create a very strong change. Okay. Allow this person to find their way home. If you understand what I mean. Home is home. No place like home, they say codependency here addictions are affecting your romantic life this person could have addictions here there's some sort of mental situations happening some all right take that how that resonates and it says very soon decide what it is that you want very soon a spirit brings in exactly what it is that you desire you want love love was brought in just make sure it's healthy okay make sure it's equal give and take all right, make sure that this is someone here that loves you enough to respect your emotions and respect your desires. Okay, true love isn't sabotaging. True love is devotion. True love is understanding where someone's heart is coming from. True love is forgiveness. All right, so if you're asking, is this my twin flame? Is this my soulmate? You'll know. Okay, what do we have here, please? Messages from this person. I know that we are still deeply connected. Let's go. I know that. This person knows this. They know that you two are still deeply connected. All right, they're, they're feeling like they may not be good enough for you at this time. All right, there are some situations going on in their life. And they may not feel like it's right. Or the right time. One more message, please. Thank you. You are the only one that truly gets me. You are the only person that rubs me the right way. You're the only person that makes me feel good. Yeah. Beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Amazing energy. And it says that I'm facing darkness right now. Be patient with me, please. Love yourself in the meantime. I will talk to you soon. I love you. Rest in peace to my beautiful brother, Robert. And of course, like, share, and, and subscribe if this resonated for you, okay? Um, and again, I love you. Have a good one.